grace, 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 sovereign, grace. But you must repent of sins to be saved. You must evidence salvation by works, or you were never saved. But you are only saved by faith alone in Christ alone. But God makes you born again first, and only then, you have faith. But you must surrender to God to be saved. Grace, 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 sovereign, grace. Oh brother, Bible says you only believe Christ paid to be forever saved, but here is another robot who sneaks works in the back door. Just like Catholicism. Will they never see how they negate grace and abort the gospel? <gasps> Look, dummy, I have heard your subroutines many times before. So tell me, where in the Bible does it ever say, you must repent of your sins to be saved? Name me even one verse. Matt 322, 417, 1120, 2132, Mark 115, 612, Luke 13 to 3, 5. 15 to 7, 16 30. 17, colon 3 ff, Acts 238, 319, 822, 17 30, 26 to 20, 2 Corinthians 7 to 8, Hebrews 7, colon 20 ff, Revelation 2 to 5. 16, 21 ff, 3 to 3, 19. 9, colon 20 ff, 16 to 9, 11. I said, dummy, which ones say you must repent of sin to be saved? You cite verses in English with repent in them. Not one of those verses talks about repenting of sin, but of changing your mind about the gospel. So listen again, name me even one verse in the Bible, which says you must repent of sin to be saved. Acts 2.38 Peter said to them, Repent, and each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Dummy, that verse says, be baptized because of the forgiveness of your sins, Greek preposition, is, means, because of, or, with reference to. Even the mistranslated English, it never says those verbs save you. The verse was about receiving the Holy Spirit in those days, not about how you get saved. Ah! Acts 3.19 says therefore repent and return, so that your sins may be wiped away, in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Dummy, did you not first read the three prior verses? Acts 3.16-18, what is the topic there? Belief in Christ? So they are to repent of what? They are to repent of rejecting Christ. You keep calling me dummy, that's not very Christian. You produce bad fruit. It's even worse fruit to pretend to praise God's grace and then abort his word. Dummy, you spread false gospel and hurt millions of lives but pretend you are holy. Bible calls you a Lord, Lord liar. Matthew 720-23. You sell works, dummy. Just like they always do. Faith without works is dead, James 2.17 and 2.20. What do you have to say to that? Did you read the verses you quote? Greek noun. Pistis. First means, Bible believed, so Bible believed without works, is an idle day, laborer. Greek word for idle day, labor is Argos. So, Argos is mistranslated dead in James 2.20. So James 2.17's dead is not talking about salvation, but about the word being dead in you. James writes to already saved people. Did you not read the beginning of his letter? So he talks about the word in you, James 1.21, which people were not learning. So 2.17 and 2.20 do not say, that word is dead, but that people do not employ it. But you must do works, to show you are saved. Many commands in the Bible to do works. Where does the Bible say you must do works? To prove you are saved. And what works are you doing? Selling false gospels. Because you did not first do, what James said you should do, receive the word. So the works you are doing, are all wrong. Better that you should do no works, unless and until you, learn the word. What you are doing now, is instead, the devil's works. <laughs>